So the first thing I'm going to want to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and get my, as I mentioned, I'm going to get my y's all on one side and my x's all on the other side. So I'll basically uh, multiply by dx on both sides and divide by dy on both sides. So therefore, I have dy over the square root of y equals x squared dx. Right? And I can go ahead and simplify this a little bit more. Um, y to the negative 1 half dy equals x squared dx. Makes me feel a little bit better when it's not a radical, all right? And something there. So now I can simply go ahead and integrate both sides, right? Integrate, integrate. So here in this case, I'm going to have um, 2 over 1 times y to the 1 half equals x cubed over 3. And then remember, we could add a plus c on both sides. But if you guys remember last class period, I said once you add a plus c and a plus c, then you get the c's on the same type. You still just have a constant. So we're just going to say we're just going to have say we're going to have one constant. Um, now, in this case, if you, in this case, we could also. We need to. We have a general solution. If you guys see that, or sorry, a particular solution. So in this case, I'd say this is not a bad. This is not a bad place to go ahead and find the value of c. You can really find the value of c at any course at any time throughout once you've taken the integral, you know, once we're going to go and solve for c and find this uh, general solution. But if we want to find the particular solution, we've got to find the value of c. So I'm going to do that right now to find c. So I'm going to have 2 times the square root of 9 equals 0 cubed over 3 plus c. Again, that's the information that was provided to me. So obviously, the square root of 9 is 3. So that 2 times 3 is 6 equals c. So now what I can do is go ahead and take, um, oh, yeah. so now let's go ahead and go back to 2 square root of y equals x cubed over 3 plus 6. So I'll take this up here, and I'll go from there. Now we just need to solve for y. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Square root of y equals x cubed over 6 plus 3. Right? Divided by 2 is like the same thing as multiplying by reciprocal. And then we'll square both sides. And we'll just leave it as y equals x cubed over 6 plus 3 squared. Could we expand that out if we needed to? Yes, we could. But do we have to? No, that's going to be perfectly fine, unless it's like a multiple choice test and they don't have the answer.